This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report Today, May 18, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our electromagnetic field getting walloped by something. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but usually when we see this happening, our Schumann resonance is spiking hard, especially with spikes like this. We see these electromagnetic field spikes way off the chart here, ending at 1600 hertz. Unbelievable spikes. Let's see what the Schumann resonance looks like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've seen heavy Schumann resonance spiking from about 1 UTC time to about current. 1900 UTC time, which is 2 p.m. Central here. Now, a lot of these spikes went completely off the chart, being 105 hertz, and we can see how hard the geophones have been hit. The only strange thing to observe here is the geophones appear to have been hit harder in this area, where the spiking isn't as excessive as this area here. I will not try to explain that to you, except for to say, based on the pictures of the modeling area, the agency's area is covered in snow, thus the geophones themselves may be covered in snow. So we've had a very couple of quiet days until about 100 UTC time, until about now 1900 UTC time. And the Schumann resonance continues to spike off the chart. These charts end at 50 hertz. The most important thing to remember here is that our Schumann resonance and our electromagnetic field started spiking at around 1 UTC and is spiking currently at 1900 UTC or 2 p.m. Central. Now these are our geophone hourly strips. They used to light up when they were actually hit by an agitator. Here we see very little action except for maybe in the strongest part of the spiking. Each line is a one hour period cut up into, well, 15 minute sections. Now again, I believe these geophones are covered in snow as the entire area around this modeling station is currently covered in snow. Taking a look at our amplitudes, I sure don't understand why the geophones do react on the Schumann resonance model itself, but don't on the amplitudes. The geophones here in green reacted a little bit, but not like you would expect them to. But right here around 1 UTC time, remember that, maybe 1245, we see heavy spiking with our ULF noise sensors, our ELF noise sensors, and our as our second frequency dips hard, showing you that we're actually in a Schumann resonance spike. Now, I know a lot of people think that they're ascending, or we as a planet are ascending, or as a dimension are ascending, because of the higher vibration and frequency. And mathematically, that makes perfect sense using any of the theories of all, string theory, M theory, super string theory, etc. But what I believe is happening in this case is that our atmosphere is collapsing and has been for at least the last seven or eight years. I believe this is due to our 3600 year pole flip. Now, Earth's always had lightning and thunder, but ladies and gentlemen, our lightning and thunder used to bounce off a much higher level of the atmosphere and I'm about to show you that our atmosphere has collapsed per lack of space weather. Now our agitators used to bounce off maybe the F2, F1 or E layer of the atmosphere and return and hit the sensors. Now that they're bouncing off of a much lower level of the atmosphere, the D layer of the atmosphere, 
they return much stronger and much faster towards the sensors, making the Schumann resonance spike that much higher. Now, of course, I don't have to tell you that our modeling station is right here where we're seeing a thunderstorm just blew through here and continues to pop off thunder. We will zoom in and see how close all the thunder is. These are the agitators in this case. And there is our modeling station right there right under a thunderstorm. Now I'm definitely not saying that these strong Schumann resonance spikes and the fact that they're returning much faster and stronger are not affecting people in general. They should be higher frequencies and higher vibrations. Let's take a look at when the atmosphere actually collapsed here on us. That was going to be right around 11. UTC time and we know that our event started right about one here and continues on as the atmosphere here continues to stay weak. Now when we see our atmosphere fighting off space weather in the blue up here, uh, I personally have not seen any large Schumann resonance spikes during a time period like that. So in closing we've been spiking hard since about 12.30 UTC time to about now 19.15 UTC time. And this does continue as the agitators continue and as our shields relax. Uh, God bless you guys. Please share our video. Please subscribe and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World. God bless you all.